You hear me? Flexiations. Can I turn this way for y'all? Yeah, that's better. Hold on. I got y'all. There we go. There we go. Okay. Peace to the gods and the planet Kai. Peace, many positive energy always creates elevation. Get up in here, y'all. Spread the word. Let them know we live. Let them know we live. Let them know we live on Twitter. Let them know we live on go on, you go on Twitter. Let them know we live. Everybody that's on TikTok, let them know we live. Everybody that's on Facebook, let them know we live. If you in the university, on the website, go on the forum, www.theuci.online. Let everybody on the, on the website know we live. We in here reflection. We back for another build, another cosmic download. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? All uh, thanks to the creators, the ancestors, the most high. We know the most high is the supreme Anunnaki council committee. There is no one God. There is many. And us together make that most high, that supreme. All right. Pure understanding coming to you and pure enlightenment. Reflect. Peace to all the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Vibrating high. Hey, baby. Y'all know what we doing today. We discussing Lil' Kim. And the birth of the degradation of our black women, as we as we call them today, are our black goddesses. Our goddesses. We ain't gotta say black, but our goddesses. We know what the goddesses cover. The goddesses. We know by now. If you've been in class, if you are considered Latina, Latino, Hispanic, black, African American, African Jamaican, Haitian. All the mother Asians, your ass is a goddess, okay? You're a goddess. So that's what we're addressing today. We're addressing this. This is a topic that needs to be discussed. It's a topic that, that needs, that requires um more attention than it has got than it has had. I don't think everybody is aware of this starting with Lil' Kim and how she was used by the media, but we're gonna talk about it. Let everybody get up in here. Peace to the gods and goddesses. Play. I am. Layana. Like. Who is that? That's them. We in here like swimwear, huh? Yes, we are. What? Shout out to Original One. It says one of my good friends related to Lil Kim. She goes to their family reunions. That's what's up. That's what's up. Lenny Wilson, what it do? Goddess John Doe, what it do? Symphonic Productions, what it do? Yanni, a lot of y'all not getting notifications because of you not getting the notification, that's why you ain't get the notification. Gotta stick through all the glitches. Shout out to Shining Rain, saying I'm sticking through all the glitches. You got to. You already know Natasha Love, what it do? Big Seven. Growth and development. Okay. Free Zaza all the time, all the time. All right. Free Zaza all the time. All right. But yeah, y'all. So um first off, it's a it's 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 always a blessing, you know, when we can get up in here every Sunday and do this public lecture live on YouTube. Uh I do have my own website, which lectures are gonna be given on the website. Uh, last week, we wasn't able to put too many lectures on the website, but the class schedule is laid out. So, like, certain lectures, like Meet the Fairies, um, um, Numerology, all that we're doing all that this week, and we're going to push it through the next week. We got the first three weeks of class um, lined up for October. Uh, the ancestors didn't want me to give a lecture last week on the website, so that's why I didn't do it. So, I always go off the energy with the with other, other ancestors. For anybody that's a, a student in the university, understand that I go purely off inspiration and I go purely off what the ancestors need me to do. I'm always in the middle of channel. I channel I channel these downloads and they they all in my locks. You know, I use my locks to soak up the energy from the sun to receive these downloads and not storm in my locks. So some 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 downloads might be right here. One download might be right here. You see what I'm saying? It, it's a minute for it. You know, I just never know. But just know that each lock is filled with downloads. You hear me? That's a, that's a fact. 
That's a real life fact. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always got to go to the ancestors for inspiration and direction. Um, and I always ask them, you know, use me as a vessel. And what do you want me to speak about? What, what, what should we bring, you know, to the attention of all these guys and goddesses who thir who 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 who's thirsty for information right now. Cause see one thing about information, it has been it has been hidden from us so long that that when so when we find out, it's just like that Richard Pryor skit. For y'all that's been following me, remember we touched on the hold on. We touched on the Richard Pryor skit. Y'all remember that? And in the Richard Pryor skit, um you seen how Pryor went into the tombs, he went into the pyramids and you know the moment he realized that black motherfuckers made them pyramids he couldn't help himself you know what i'm saying he couldn't help himself y'all he couldn't do it he like hold on nigga this is us nigga hold on we did this you see and that's that's really how it is like that skit came out in 1979 but it was so deep all right it was deep Prior put it in there, you know. It's a lot of celebrities that have been killed, clone, replaced, that tried to warn you over time and you just wasn't aware of it. They warned you through, some of them was comedians. They warned you through their jokes. Some of them warned us through their music. Some of them warned us through their acting. Some of them tried to warn us through, they used their talent in a boxing ring like a Muhammad Ali, right? To try to warn you, you know. You had the Sam Cooks, you know. And even up to now, like you, even now, you always got the artists like Kanye West, one of them. And I'll say Nipsey Hussle. But mainstream artists, it hasn't been a mainstream artist since Kanye West, and then Nipsey Hussle tried to get out there, and they they got him out the way. But it hasn't been um, a mainstream artist to use their talent to awaken the masses since Kanye West. Nobody gets is more vocal. King Los, he gave a dope freestyle. We all know the freestyle. Legendary, because he dropped so many esoteric gems in it. All right, shout out to King Los, another very wise soul that was hidden from the masses due to the fact that he was awoke and he, he refused to, to use his craft, his God-given abilities to sell out to these white folks. I'm another one though, but I've, I've never went mainstream, so that's why I didn't mention myself. But yeah, I refuse to use my God-given talent to sell out you know, to Satan and use my abilities to, to, you know, get Lucifer and Zeus's agenda done. I refuse to do that, you know, back, what, 2019, when I turned down that $2 million record deal. So, and it's more, it's more. I'm not the only one, trust me. It's a lot of people that turned down deals and turned down opportunities in corporate America that they had because they refused to dilute who they are. And that's why we stand strong. But, you know, today we want to bring attention to Lil' Kim. So, because... Lil' Kim is a situation, the Awoken ones know what's going on. Shout out to Daylight, but Daylight never went mainstream. I, I rock with Daylight. I rock with Daylight. But once again, how is he portrayed in the media? Daylight is portrayed as crazy. He's portrayed as loony, you know. I fucks with him, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying the way the media portrays him, okay? Uh... Somebody said Triple X. Yes, XXX tried to wake people up, but a lot of adults wasn't on XXX. That was mature adults. He, he just came off as a mumble rapper to a lot of adults. I'm aware that he wasn't just a mumble rapper. And to a lot of youth that was younger than XXX, they just thought he was just a rapper too. It was very few that really seen what XXX was doing with his music and what he was speaking about when he spoke about vibration and he spoke about frequency. I'm talking about X, XXX who was killed. Right, he was sacrificed by his by the industry, but a lot of people don't even know that he blew up independently. Um, so yeah, they do that. They do that. They do you like that. We are gonna talk about it all. They do you like that. Uh, R. Kelly was just trying to get his masters back, uh, you know, before all them accusations came out on him years ago. Even the initial ones that came out. I mean, it get deep. It get deep. We are gonna run it down. Okay, Prince was trying to get his masters back. He ended up dead all of a sudden. And Michael Jackson, we know he owned half of the Beatles catalog as well as his masters. And you know, he ended up there right before he went on his tour at 50. So understand that this is a fight that's been going on, but certain people have been used to, 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 
to push the status quo and to push the agenda a lot more harder than others. All right. So if they can't use you, they just like to re replace you. OK, that's what they're trying to do with me. They're they not able. I won't. I didn't sign a record deal with them. I refuse to sign this deal with YouTube. YouTube want me to sign with them. I get I bet you if I sign this contract with YouTube. I'll jump to a million subscribers. My shit won't get censored. I wouldn't have no issue, but I'm not selling out. I don't care if they took the whole channel. I'm not selling out. All right? I told many of you this. All right? They, uh, Instagram trying to get me to sign with them. All right? These, these platforms have literally reached out to me. All right? And trying to get me to work with them. All right? Because we have built such a huge following without them. Without no none of them. This is all the ancestors. But once again, when you refuse to work with the powers that be, they attack you. Like what I'm going through right now. I have a whole fake case that everybody know about. I, I, get, I touched on it in my last lecture. I have a whole fake case being pent on me. I'm being framed right now as an innocent God, innocent soul. We ain't going for it. That's why right now, if y'all still on the team, y'all keep blowing up that district attorney down there. Because y'all called the district attorney. And, and guess what? First he said, fuck y'all. But now he agreed to sit down and meet with my legal team. That's what pressure do. Y'all keep blowing that motherfucking number up. You feel me? Blow that bitch down. Because cause at the end of the day, we need that shit dismissed. You feel me? Or pre consent bond. We not sitting in no cell for them to try to kill, clone, and replace me. Because that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. So that's why I made everybody aware of what's going on. Fuck all that. Yeah, they killed Bernie Mac too. Fuck all the all the fake shit. I'm going to let y'all know what these other celebrities didn't. I'm going to let you know right out what they on with Rashad Jamal. They trying to kill clone, replace me, put me in a cell, clone, replace me, bring me back out, and I'll be a whole different nigga pushing what they want. You feel me? And it wouldn't matter what y'all said because they'll just drain y'all out and bite all my fucking in comments and bite all my Instagram shit so it ain't going to matter what y'all say. Next thing you know, I'm all on Oprah. I'm in a suit. All type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um... We have to understand that, that the celebrities, your celebrities, your celebrities run your world. All right. You don't have to believe that, but your celebrities dictate your world. OK, this is why when Nicki Minaj broke her MK Ultra and she went to speak out about the jab, about the Holyfield jab, you know, because, see, I can't even say it no more on my channel. I'm still amazed at how other niggas is cover is covering it. I like 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 I've been ex I've been exempt from saying talking about this shit on my channel and the real ones been following this channel from day one. Watch it build up, y'all know. Man, they gonna take the channel. I can't even talk about the shit no more. You feel me on this channel? So I really don't. And still, other motherfuckers be talking about it. Motherfucker got a million views. Motherfuckers saying the whole term and everything. I'm like, damn. Okay, cool. <laughs> We, I see how y'all play. Everybody could talk about it but Rashad Jamal around this motherfucker. You know, because I, I know the most about it. I know what it really what is what's the whole end goal of this shit. Other motherfuckers just talking about the you they living in the presence. I can tell you why they came up with the jab. I can tell you what the jab, what it leads to. And people been following me since day one know that. I've been told y'all that. 72 aura nodes, 72 titans, 7 plus 2 is 9. 90 the beings. Listen, man. Break this shit down new, you know what I'm saying? The the metrics. You know what I'm saying? Numetrically. You hear me? Like, but at the end of the day, we gonna get off that. We don't want them slicing the video. We don't look him today. So before we get deep and before we jump off the boat and into this ocean of truth, let me first buy it's imperative that we open up this lecture with the right spiritual energy at all times. And, 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 and you know, this protects not only my avatar, but y'all as well. So, you know, once again, first let me start by saying peace. You know, to all the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai, peace, many positive energy always creates elevation. To any human beings or any extraterrestrial races that, or that happen to be watching my live, I'm sending peace to you as well. As long as you're on a high vibration, you're good with me. It's not about race. It's about vibration. It's about frequency. I am a scientist. I am a, I am a teacher. You know, I am that I am. I am a revolutionary. So expect nothing less of me. All right, a lot of y'all, uh, a lot of people that has came across Rashad Jamal, a lot of y'all listen to me. It's a lot of people that don't. You know, I come off as crazy to certain individuals. Certain individuals, I come off as over aggressive, overly aggressive, and all that. But I just want to say, suck my dick. Thank you. All right, because I'm a revolutionary, so expect nothing less than me. I and I and and, and, and I, I want to tap on that before I, you know, send out my deepest insight to my elders before I greet my elders in here right now and greet my peers and greet the youth. Because I think a lot of people have jumped around that. But if you go look at my Instagram account, it clearly says author, revolutionary, luminous being. Because we are luminous beings, that which we are, 666. 
So I am a luminous being, and so are you. Six, six, six. All right, six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. It's all electricity. I keep saying everybody talking about alkaline diets, but still think they are a meat soup. It don't matter if you if you you can drink in all the water and eat all the vegetables, but if you don't understand deeply that you are an electrical being, which makes you a luminous being, you are completely lost. You know all that jogging on the beach, jogging down the street. God damn it. All that ain't going to help you if you don't understand the truth. You feel me of what you are. Now, a lot of individuals, a lot of individuals, you know, they forget that I'm a revolutionary. So in being a revolutionary, I don't know what they expect from me. I, honestly, me, me being able to get on here and teach like this is a, is a gift because I'm a revolutionary. So revolutionary ain't really doing too much talking. You know what I'm saying? We just all action. But... That's the gift and the curse that, I, that was bestowed upon me. So I, I just want to, I just want once again, because I just put the post up on, on, on Instagram the other day and I'll put up the definition of revolutionary. Okay, so revolutionary individuals are very, considered very violent because they are willing to die in war for the change, the status quo, and the stage, change the system, nigga. I'm not no politician. I'm not no motherfucking pastor, nigga. So your pastors and your pastors, they are the ones that jump in suits and go and try to work shit out via, via vote. I'm a revolutionary nigga. I want this shit changed the gangster way. You know what I'm saying? I came to change shit the gangster way. I'm going to wake my people up, but never forget I'm a revolutionary. So expect nothing less of me. So expect aggression from me. Expect me to change the system and challenge this system aggressively. And that, that which I do. That which I do. No different than these people trying to put a fake case on me so that they can Lil' Kim me. We'll talk about it today. They want to Lil' Kim me. Bernie Mac me. Hell, do the same thing with my wife. Kids, you know, they kill and replace the whole family, nigga. You feel me? So that, that way everybody think everything's still cool. It won't go like that with a revolutionary because I'm not going to let it go like that. We'll, we'll pay, we'll get a legal team, which we did that reached out to us of, of from the NAACP. All right? Send the legal team to talk to y'all. They the, they the cordial ones. All right? Y'all look into this fake case that y'all trying to put on me. Now, once we send a legal team down there, we'll have the guys and goddesses call down there once again. Shout out, thank you to all the guys and goddesses. Y'all been blowing up their phone, keep blowing their shit up, because now we got a meeting. And they don't normally want to do meetings, but they want a meeting now. Okay, right, because they know there's some bullshit. Okay, so that's our way of being cordial. That's our way of being cordial. Other than that, it, don't get, it, ain't, it ain't getting no more cordial, nigga. We not going in there regardless. So you either going to get the pre-consent bond or dismiss the whole case, because it was a fallacy, a case that was put together by a vindictive woman working out of pure jealousy, who is using two innocent souls, her daughter, but also my son, to try to stab me and the Winder the Police Department down there in Georgia because y'all in cahoots with, the, with, with, the, with, the, with Governor Kemp of Georgia and all these big politicians who are a part of Pizzagate who I speak out against. That's why y'all went on ahead and concocted a bullshit instant report and sent marshals to the house and all type of extra shit. All right? So us getting the legal team involved, us having people in the university call y'all, that's cordial. We giving y'all a chance to prove to, to Rashad Jamal and the ancestors and the University of Cosmic Intelligence and all these guys and goddesses that y'all are not who we say y'all are right which are racist the most racist county in georgia is winder not too far from where Maude Aubrey was killed in glenn county they about three hours apart but the same people all right so being a revolutionary you know this is what it's about we went the georgia way october 13th is the meeting y'all so october 13th y'all got to do this shit the right way october 13th come y'all don't do it the right way hey you leave me no choice but to be the revolutionary that which I am. I speak out against the system. You feel me? Me and my family speak out against the system. All the guys and goddesses in here, that's what we see eye to eye. We speak out against the system. You have white people in the university, good human beings, that they speak out against the system. So they in here with us. All right? So anybody in this university, this is a place where you could be yourself. All right? This is a place where you could be yourself. But at the end of the day, you everybody that follow me know how to read between the lines. They already forced it jab on us they already don't want, they already censoring us they're taking away all your freedom so this is bigger than rashad jamal anywhere it went y'all this is about the kai gods and planet kai and our planet being stolen from us and the kundalini energy rising do you know how many innocent black gods are sitting in jail behind somebody lying on them i'll never be another one of them so if i was told today to these laws i would be letting out everybody in jail down there that listen to these lectures i would be letting all the gods and goddesses out around the planet that listen to this 
Because guess what? We know we in. We going to war. Before they even put it on Rashad Jamal, we was already at war. War was imminent regardless. War was imminent regardless. The war was imminent regardless. So we in the heart of war and they want to go sit one of the generals down so they can have their way with y'all. And I'll, I'll be damn if I do that. You're not finna lock me up so you can be out here lying to my people. Because we all know who watch. If you watch me, you notice. Anything they say, this is how you know they watch. This is how you know they watch us. Any fucking thing they say, we get right on their ass and we decode it and we break it down. And then they go out of the way to try to discredit it. When I brought up the Dreezy effect and that Dreezy was on the MK Ultra, all of a sudden she dropped the video two days later. I pulled out the fact that motherfucking uh uh uh, uh and it just that was just supportedly missing, but allegedly missing. The, um, so, um, the price. Kelly Price. We addressed the Kelly Price situation on Instagram. All of a sudden, literally the next day, she gives an interview live. You've been missing a week, let them tell it. And once once we, the university, once we attack it for what it is, because she's been killed, cloned, and replaced. All right? But once we attack it, all of a sudden, the very next day, y'all, now Kelly Price was giving a, giving a, giving a speech. But everybody that watched the speech noticed that her background was like all blurry and she tried to write at all. Anybody could have seen through that 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 was CGI imagery. Let him watch I see clearly. It don't matter what it is, nigga. We made a lecture about the Bermuda Triangle right here on this on this motherfucking YouTube. Bermuda they been talking about the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle for 30, 40, 50 plus years. All of a sudden, the Rashad Jamal, we give a lecture about the you about the Bermuda Triangle, and I let all y'all know that ain't no such thing as no Bermuda Triangle, and that our ancestor ocean is locked, is trapped in that area between the Caribbean islands by two giant pyramids they are using our ancient magic and atlantis the bermuda triangle is a part of atlantis because all of that was the capital of atlantis right i said that right here on this channel right here on youtube let the record reflect nigga a week later now they rolled out all type of articles about scientists have discovered two pyramids under the sea nigga you ain't gonna tell me y'all ain't watch us you feel me but guess what y'all they'll never give credit to a black black scientist just like the pyramids, nigga. That shit's so small. That shit's so redundant. That shit's so low level. That shit's so low vibe. But the pyramids, like, you really got people out here that thought pyramids were what we invented. That shit ain't nothing compared to what we invented. We invented everything that you see around you. But to limit you, they can't. They, they couldn't move the pyramids if they could they do it, but they can't. So they 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 show them to you, and and then even when they let you know that the pyramids was built from the top down. All right, a lot of people don't know that the pyramids of Giza was built from the top down, nigga. So not only are all the 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 the, the metrics perfectly aligned, but but this giant pyramid that they could never reconstruct ever again, because they need our genetics to do it. We hold all the keys, all right. This giant pyramid was built from the top down. All of them was. Also, they won't let you know that it's pyramids in every state. They also will never tell you that North America is actually North Africa because the map is up down. They'll also never tell you that the ocean surrounded all land is connected, nigga. You can get from tell you. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. They show you these maps and got you thinking we we connected and broken up by all these things, nigga. It's the same ocean, and they gave you the same one ocean, which is our ancestor, one of the original Titans, nineteen thousand different names, nigga. Okay. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that it's an ice ring surrounding this one land. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. You see what I'm saying? They will never tell you that Arizona leads into what you think it is. They'll never tell you that. You got to come in here to get that type of shit. And that makes us dangerous. That makes us public enemy number one. I told y'all this months ago. Let him watch I see clearly. Just like right now. We finna break down and explain that Lil' Kim was used as a weapon aimed at the black people. And aimed specifically at the mindsets of the youth, the young young goddesses that will be that will be today's parents. All right. So if you was a little girl in the nineties, Lil Kim affected you, and she also affected us, the young gods, because you that that further made the young gods feel like, hey, bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Lick on the balls while you suck the dick. Remember them songs? See, they understand what they did to our generation because I'm a nineties baby. I, I, land, I landed on this planet in 1986, all right? I came here in 1986 because that was my ship number. My landing date is 11 22 1986. And if you add all those numbers up, it equals 119. Why does my, why does my solar date add up to 
119. My solar day adds up 1122 plus 1986. Add it all up. 112286. Drop the 19. Add 11 plus 22 plus 86. And you're going to get 119. The reason that I came on that day is because I, I came directly from the 19th galaxy. You see what I'm saying? So we work through numbers, like angel numbers and numerology. But I have a I have a whole lecture coming up on numerology on my website because they'll never tell you what numbers really are. So we're going to break numerology all the way down on my website. It's coming up. But once again, www.theuci, University of Cosmic Intelligence, dot online. The only place where a God can be a God, a goddess can be a goddess, you can be your motherfucking self. But let, let's talk numbers real quick so you can understand in tune with certain things i told you i'm not more powerful than you at all we are only one i am you so when y'all sit in here and watch me and y'all like oh god you intelligent oh thank you i always say i don't thank me thank the ancestors and you are the ancestors i am you you are me there is no separation if you proud of me that means you proud you love me you love you i am another form i am you in another form and that's what reflection means Okay, so when I landed 11-22-1986, 11-22-86 was when I chose to land upon my inception on this realm to do my soul contract that I signed up for. And I told you niggas I wasn't trying to come back down here. Anybody, anybody been following me from the Facebook days, I said that. It's just people thought I was joking. I'm like, you know, I was Tucson L. Overture in my past life, y'all. So a lot of y'all don't know who Tucson L. Overture is because they don't talk about him in American history books. You know, they hide all the real revolutionaries from you. They don't talk about Queen Nanny, Toussaint L. Overture, none of those individuals. Tupac Amaru, and I'm see, when I say Tupac Amaru, you think about Tupac Amaru Shakur. Understand that Tupac Amaru Shakur, the rapper, was named by his mother, Afeni Shakur, and Asada Shakur, who were very deep goddesses, and they were aware of Tupac Amaru. Tupac Amaru was the leader of the Incas. Now, go look up the Incas and see what the fuck they did to the Spanish conquistadors, and then you'll understand why Tupac never had a chance. They was, going, they, was, they, was, they was watching him since the day he came out the pussy. That's a fact. His mom named him Tupac Amaru. I, I, go look it up. You go look up Tupac Amaru and tell me what these crackers tell you about him. Because you know these crackers going to lie to you anyway. But go look it up, and they'll give you a little bit about him. They'll give you a little bit about him. See, a lot of people don't know that. So when they be calling Tupac an agent, man, you have not a clue. You have not a clue. But Tupac Amaru was the leader of the Incas. Another revolution, Tupac. I can lame them all. But look. In my last physical incarnation before I came here, back here is Rashad Jamal, who y'all see. My last incarnation, I was Tucson El Ovator, and I led Haiti to a revolution, and we won that war. We won that war. Now, when I landed in 11 86 when they drew my blood, they knew exactly who I was. This is why they told my mom, out of all the babies that came on this planet in 1986, they measured my head and I measured in the top 10. This is a true story. This ain't no shit I'm making up. This is a true story. All right? What the doctors told my mom, because they already knew what the fuck I came to do. So, what I'm trying to get y'all to see is, a lot of times we sit here and y'all don't understand how I'm able to channel information. I'm just breaking down to you why and how. You get what I'm saying? And when I came into the realm because I signed up, I, I elected to come, to come back. I didn't have to come back. All right? A lot of us have to come back because most people don't know how to break past the moon's light. Remember I taught y'all about the moon way this time last year in November. About this time last year, we right here on this channel. And I spoke to y'all about soul har harvesting. That's what the moon is used for. So a lot of souls get caught up in the light. They go into the light because religion teaches you that. After we leave and transcend the realm, it takes the soul between 40 and 72 days to fully transcend the realm. So after somebody dies, when you think they die, their soul and spirit is still here in the atmosphere, in the stratosphere. And they have to break through it. They have to break through it. And as they transcend in the realm, most of us get, get see the moon and think it's the light. Because your soul remembers all the lies that was told. You take all that with you. So most people go into that light thinking they're going to heaven. And when you go into that light, scientists on the moon with thermal radiation and energetic readers capture your soul. Because the soul is magnetism. So they basically use magnets toward your soul to the light once you come to it. Because your soul is something but a magnet anyway. The soul is magnetism. The spirit is electricity. Okay? So... They're using these, these, mag, these magnets to pull. 
and only that's that's what the term only the strong body because if you start a strong soul you won't be less strong to it but most of us don't so they go into it and then you go into the light thinking you're going to heaven they capture you put you in a bottle they put you in a real life little bottle put you in a little incubator tube bleach your soul of its memories i can't even word the technology they're using because there's no word for it but they bleach your soul of its memories all right they run it through these little Almost like at the airport, you know how like when you go to the airport and they run and they run your bags under the scanner, they can see that's what they do with your soul. Why it's in this tube, and they bleach it of his memories. And now that the memories is gone, they push you back down here to this planet, and you pick you 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 don't even get to pick your parent at that time. If you have to reincarnate that, you don't even pick your parents. You just go into whatever parent that you land in. Almost like they showed you in the movie Soul. When they was falling, they, all the souls was jumping. Remember when he tried to hear up and go? He had the guy open up the portal for him on Soul. And he jumped down in there. And they're like, hold on. And he landed in the cat. And then the other soul, she landed in him. That's real. That's real. Okay? That's real. That's exactly what they do to your soul upon reincarnation. So this is why you don't. This is why, you know, a lot of people reincarnate here. Sometimes they come back as insects, animals, elements, trees, actual beings, dust mites. It just depends. So it's that's not the natural way. Okay. So in my situation, by me fulfilling my mission when I was Tucson L Overtour, I was able to elect to come back. So you do have a soul contract mission. It's like a video game. If you if you if you fulfill it, once you leave, you can come back and help out if you're needed or if you choose to. So I elected to come back down here to help. And, and, and I told niggas I didn't want to do it. But it was a job that must be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, you know, they had just they had just took out Malcolm and everybody in the 60s. You feel me? I hadn't been here since the 1800s or some shit like that. So we up in the ashes watching everything take place. So our what do you do about this war that was going to come in your year of 2021 as we head into 2022 and 23? We can see this in the ashes because years aren't real. Remember, we 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 li we have energy cycles. We don't have years and day. That shit's so primitive. That's their shit. We we are beyond time. You feel me? So we can see all this shit. And you got souls that elect to come. Not just me. Others come. Everybody come. They elect. Certain ones elect and they got their mission. So my mission was my mission was just like this. The ancestors told me, we need you to go back down there. Because a lot of the people is going to be waking up. But we need, we need one of our most finest spiritual assassins to go back down there. And I'm like, you know, this planet Kai is looked at as mission impossible to a lot of ascended masters and advanced souls. You have to understand that Satan is a very smart motherfucker. So we know when we come here, we in his world until we get it back from him. He took it from us. He's powerful, just like us. So it's not easy to do. And I could foresee that I was walking into a different energy. Like when I came here as Tucson L Overtour. When I came here as Tucson L Overtour, the energy wasn't like this. The frequent dropped this low. So it was a different time like our people was we were more aware of who we were we existed on one frequency we had dances and we used the power of vibration see you have to understand the power of vibration this is why we danced and this is why we chanted all of this was about vibration if you go look at what they call the indians which is still us they danced and they sung for the rain right but they don't tell you go look at any ancient african tribe the yoruba tribe the dogon the the, 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 I mean, anybody, the Zulus, the Ashanti, I mean, just anybody, you could just go look at any tribe. You never understand why they dance. You never understand why they sing, what, what, what the drum means. A lot of people don't understand why the drum touches us so deeply and why the guitar affects human beings so deeply. The guitar is what? Guitar is what? Electric. This is why human beings, this is why y'all love that guitar. This is why rock and roll was so prevalent uh, once, it, once it was created. And rock and roll was blues, right? 
But this guitar is electric. So the strings, understand that, see, they don't tell y'all what, I'm going to do a whole separate lecture just on instruments, man. They didn't lie to y'all about everything. You have no clue how powerful each and every instrument is. And if you were to figure out how to use the keys on the piano effectively, fuck playing a song, that's not the reason that we came up with instruments. We didn't make instruments to play no goddamn songs, nigga. Songs is just something that came about as a part of the enchantment. And we're spell casting. Because when you make words rhyme, that's harmony. And when you have harmony with intent, this is the one of the most purest ways along with pure water to manifest anything. So the drums, the drums are an esoteric thing. The way your ancestors used to. Why do you think they hit the drums with their hands? Why didn't they hit the drums with their head? Why didn't they hit the drums with their elbow? Because you have eyes right here. You got to touch that drum a certain way. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a marriage. It's a spiritual marriage of binding your energy with these drums. That's why when you hit a drum... To this day, everybody black love bass. You can make a basic rhythm, and then we still feel that. You can't help yourself, nigga. You can't help yourself with no drums. Come on, no why? Same thing, so-called lad. I told you we the same. The drum affect y'all like it affect us. Get that drug, come on, y'all be. You hear me? And my all drums, nigga, them drums. They make you move, don't they? They make you do more than that. If you really knew how to use the drums. Human beings, white people, Caucasians, Asians, Mexicans, Dravidians, and Arabs, these are the human beings. You love that electricity, because you're full of electricity. You don't have magnetism, so the drums don't affect you the same way. However, though, that guitar do, because the strings on the guitar is electrical. And what's y'all favorite guitar in rock and roll? The electric guitar. That's what it's called. That's what Jimi Hendrix was using. The electric guitar. Let him who has eyes see clearly. So when you understand the power of vibration, then you understand what music really is. Music is magic. It's a form of it. Music is magic. Okay? You need instruments to make music. They will never tell you who made each and every single instrument and why it was made. All right. So understanding that music is a form of magic. I want y'all to hold that thought. Don't, don't sit it down. Don't pass it off to your friend. You hold that. Because we're going to come right back to it. So diversity. We appreciate you. We in the end game. It's war time. It's time to stand up and rise, y'all. We ain't going to be on the internet that much longer. But I don't want none of the elderly to move with any fear. You're not old. You're not old at all. Even if you're 95 right now, what is 95 when the numbers are endless? You think your legs don't work? as good as they used to when you was younger. Who told you to believe that? Elderly, 65 and older. You think you don't matter anymore because you got wrinkles in your skin, but that's who taught you to believe that though. You see, we in the end game now. Do not limit yourself to your avatar, to all the elderly. You are ageless, timeless, 
unshackle yourself from these white racist theologies, ideologies that were forced upon your ancestors to rob you of what you are. That's my message to the elders today watching this live. We in the end game. We ain't gonna be on the internet too much longer. The shit is over with. Their system, their matrix, done. Dandada, Ox, Linux. You hear me? Done. Dandada. You hear me? Ox, Linux, off belly. Done, done, done. Real Dandada. You hear me? It's Dandada. All right? But the elders must remember why you are still here right now. Do you think we sent you here to let you reach a golden ripe, what you call age, for you to just hit that age and then just give up on everything, including yourself? Because you feel like you are useless because you were told that? Who taught you that 65 made you an elder? We didn't. Especially when we know time is based off the Gregorian calendar. It only works if you believe in it. That's why I don't celebrate holidays and, and solar days, birthdays anymore. You are beyond the flesh, elderly. Remember that. And all the experience that you have gathered while being on this realm, we need right now in this, in this war. We need it. We don't need you sitting somewhere in the corner feeling sorry for yourself. Talking about what you would have did if you was 30 years younger. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time. We shattered that. It's over with for time. We back to nature. We back to us. We back to building us up again. Healing us. That's where we at right now. We're healing. We're remembering who we are. That's, that's healing. That's what we doing. And as we continue to heal, the stronger we get. They put a lot of wounds on us. A lot of wounds. But now they're healing. And they're healing fast. That's what happened when you, you take a bite out of that fruit called knowledge of self. You see, they've been feeding you meat. They've been feeding us lies. But when you take a bite out of that fruit called self, you can feel the nectar dripping down your... The lip, sun shining, dolphins jumping, rainbow come out. No rainbows are stargates. Knowledge of self. That's what we are, elderly. If you want to call yourself that, I don't call you that. To my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, I'm sending you the deepest of insight for this divine download today. Also in the war, the elders need us, the youth need us, we the muscle. Remember that. We the muscle. To the youth. You the right hook. The youth, y'all the right hook. You know, because... They ain't gonna never see y'all coming. Two, 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 two. Let the let the ancestors speak clearly. But to the youth, they ain't gonna never see y'all coming. You hear me? They feel like they got y'all where they want y'all. Drugs surround your community. The community is filled with men who think they women and women who think they men. They, they bombarding the cartoons with nothing but homosexuality in the cartoons. They have your mom thinking that she don't need no nigga, so you probably ain't got no daddy in the house if you are if the average youth today. They got they got the they got the they got the guys thinking they don't need no bitch, so your daddy don't give a fuck about your mama if you the youth for today. The they have infused our communities with guns and drugs and laws that do not see the to give our the youth a chance 
They don't they know they don't show y'all cartoons like they showed us no more. Y'all don't watch Sesame Street. Y'all don't watch Captain Planet. Y'all don't watch Peter Pan. Y'all not watching none of that. You watching Cardi B and Meg Stallion and these rappers and facts. Y'all don't even have a childhood, youth. When we was kids, we went outside. I told you our parents had to find us. And every generation before that can vouch. Be in the house for the streetlights, come on. Not today, youth. They took nature from you. They don't even want y'all to have no nature. Y'all don't want to go outside. All y'all want to do is get on the goddamn internet all day. That's technology. What about nature? Y'all the babies. Y'all the fresh crops. How the crops, how the crops gonna grow if, the, if ain't nobody getting no sunlight? The youth, y'all the crops. We need y'all to harvest. We waiting for y'all to harvest, but y'all can't harvest right if the slave master ain't letting y'all get no sunlight because he got you in the house all day in front of the internet. You know these, these computers are blue screen. These phones are blue screen, so they emit blue light. Blue light is made to attack your pineal gland. They fire selenium. It's a liquid fire called selenium that's fired at your pineal gland through these blue screens. That's on your cell phones, your laptops, your flat screen TVs. They've been doing it since they came out with the color TV. Before they had the color TV, they wasn't doing it. When it was in black and white, they wasn't doing it. When they crossed over from black and white to color, that's what made it color. They had to put selenium, which is a chemical, to shut down your pineal gland into them tubes, which is how they even was able to create the color TV. Lamb who has eyes see clearly, they've been doing it. But when they advanced in the 90s, going into the 2K with the flat screen TVs and the cell phones and the iPhones like this, laptops and tablets and iPads, what do you think weaponry designed to make sure that the new crops they never harvest correctly. See? We in the end game now. To the youth. Go back outside. Get some nature. I know it's gunshots going on, but don't go outside on your block. Go to some nature. Go to a forest preserve. Go to a park. Every city got one. You just got to go to it. Get in nature. Y'all the fresh crops. For you to grow strong, you need air. You need sunlight. You are plant-based. We all are. We receive our energy and our food the same way the plants do, through photosynthesis. All right? Ancient beings require ancient ideologies and ancient food to stay ancient and in all power. Okay? So, now that we all in here, we know the mission, we know the plan, let's discuss Lil' Kim. All right? Let's discuss her. Okay, so a lot of you may or may not know that Lil' Kim was used as the sole weapon to change the whole narrative on female rappers. Let's show this Lil' Kim first album. That's also the real Lil' Kim. Now, many of us who heard this album, we we can't take that away. But what many failed to realize is that she completely changed the tide of hip hop for female artists. Okay. I have a list of artists prior to Lil' Kim, and I'm going to talk about it. Look, Lady B, 19... These are the first MCs. Lady B, 1979. Queen Lisa Lee, 1980. Shy Rock, 1984. Lady Crush, 1984. Pebbly Poop. 1985, MC Trouble, Roxanne Shantae, MC Light, Queen Latifah, 
Salt and Pepper, Yo Yo, Missy Elliott, Left Eye, Lauren Hill, Mia X, The Brat, Lady of Rage, La Chat, shout out to Memphis, La Chat, Foxy Brown. And after Little Kim, what you will notice rappers became very sexual. Eve, Rod Digger, Trina, Kaya, Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion. Now, we gonna run. We gonna run down this list. Feel me? Cause see, showing is believing sometimes. All right? So let's go look at these other artists real quick. Boom. Let's pull up Google. All right, let's start with Lady B. We want to see the way Lady B dressed. I want y'all to notice the way every female rapper, if we can get a picture on her, we might not be able to get a picture on her because it's so up. There she go. Okay, so I want you, this is Lady B now. One of the first female rap, goddess, female rappers. I want you to see the way they dress, though, prior to Lil' Kim. I want you to wear these artists dressed, okay? Because back then, it was about music. Music, you see? And you don't have to de degrade yourself to do it. Art amongst our, our female artists today. All right? They don't know. Like them little heifers right there, they know, not, they know nothing about real hip-hop and respect and dignity. Puppets for the elites. We not talking about the goddesses who have destroyed us. We know the male rappers have played a, a role as well, but this ain't about them. We talking about the goddesses right now. The female rappers. The female rapper. Like they say, the queen bee. The queen of bullshit. The queen bee of the bullshit. She led the motherfucking hive. Okay, so that's Lady B. We can go to throwback pictures. Throwback pictures. You know, we ain't got to go too throwback. We know how they was dressing. You see her? Hip-hop. It was about hip-hop. It was about the message in the music. Okay? Because, see, a lot of y'all not going to know this, especially the youth. Because people don't be paying attention. They don't think about it. Let's go to Shy Rock, 1984. We on Shy Rock. Here she go. Shout out to the elderly goddess, Shy Rock. All right, these goddesses, were, they put messages in the music. And when they dressed, they didn't dress to degrade themselves. They wasn't showing their asses and their titties and none of that. They had talent. They didn't have to do that. All right. On top of that, the era was different. Degradation was not something that was big amongst us, okay? These are some of the pioneers of the, the, the quote-unquote uh, uh, female MCs that blew up in Hollywood. And I also want to show you how Hollywood changed. See, in the 70s and the 80s, in the 60s, Hollywood wasn't at this level yet. It wasn't like at the level the reptilians hadn't infiltrated Hollywood yet, all right? So... These artists, you know, they had a lot more respect for themselves and the way they dressed and the way they carried themselves because they know they represented, they represented something. You see her? They got afros. The, front, the funky four plus one more. All right? They got afros. Look how she dressed, nigga. You don't see her degrading herself, do you? There she go. Straight bars, straight talent. She didn't have to show nothing. She didn't have to show nothing but her skill set. She had to show her skill set. You feel me? Look at how they wore the hair natural. Pay attention. And at this point in hip-hop, y'all, hold on. What I want y'all to know about hip-hop, in the 80s and the 90s, hip-hop wasn't shit. It was not mainstream like it is now. And what you're going to notice is that in the 80s and the 90s, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, the artists was way more in tune with who they were. You had groups out there like Public Enemy Number 1. You had real MCs and, and they, message, they, had, they had messages in their music and they showed it with the way they dressed. 
that's hip-hop, all right? And at that point in time, rappers, we, rappers couldn't get no public attention like that. This is a fact. This is a fact, okay? Especially these female MCs. We gonna keep going, though. We gonna keep going, you know? Let's go to the next one, y'all. We gonna work our way down. Lady Crush. Let's go to Lady Crush. And some of these artists so old, it's hard to pull up their pictures, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get it. See, they're not even pulling up Lady Crush, so we're going to go to the next one. Child can look her up, though. You can Google it. He's actually artists. It's just some of them so old, you know what I'm saying? They from the 80, you know, Google. The search engine. Let's see. Pebbly Pool. So we can pull her up. Okay, here we go. Look at the way these artists was dressing. All right? Look at how they dress. Look at how this Pebbly Pool right here. All right, look at how they dressed. But this is about as sexy as you was going to get with Pebbly Poo. And that's recent pictures. Look. That's recent pictures. That's recent pictures. Look back then, though. You see? Look how she wore little braids. Look at how she dressed. Yeah. Feel me? This before the narrative was flipped. This before the narrative was flipped. Pebbly Poo. Pebbly Poo and Master Don. Look at how she dressed. All right? Look at how she dressed. That's what you pay attention to. Look at how she dressed. She's still respectable right there. You see? God is vibes. Still respectable. All right? And to all the young goddesses that's watching... Because y'all need to know that these hoes is, is leading y'all, leading y'all out of y'all, out of y'all divine feminine energy. All right. And the best way to show you that is to go down these other MCs. So you can see, and I can't play their music because, you know, they'll been there muted the video. Look at MC Trouble. Look how she dressed. Look how she dressed. MC Trouble. All right. MC Trouble. Look. At her attire. Look at the attire. That's what I'm pointing out. Because this is the way female artists used to dress. This is how they used to dress. Alright? Understand the difference. That's MC Trouble. These are the originators of hip hop for the females. Go to Roxanne Shante. Come on, y'all. A lot of y'all know Roxanne. Roxanne. But let's see if we get a throwback on her. Can we get a throwback on her? We can. We got one right here. Look how they was dressing. Look how they was dressing, man. That's how they was dressing, man. You know? That's how they was dressing, man. Ain't nobody showing no titties or no ass. None of it. They didn't need to do it. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. MC Light. MC Light. Legendary. The legendary MC Light. Okay, cool. You right, right. Look at how they was dressed. You see, MC Light. This is how our MCs dressed. Okay, our our goddess MCs dressed because they had purpose in the music and they represented something bigger than themselves. MC Light. Look at how she dressed. Look at how she dressed. Ace to ace. If it ain't ages in here, that mean we not doing our job. They've been degrading our women too long and want to put that shit on us. I don't give a fuck about an age. You can suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. You get what I'm saying? 
I don't care about no agent. See what I'm saying? H is going to get mad because I'm in here waking my people up to the degradation of our women and how it didn't start with our men. Because today, motherfucker want to say, oh, y'all be calling, y'all be dogging, said calling us bitches. No, y'all call y'all self bitches. Y'all call y'all self hoes, thanks to the head huncho ho little Kim, who sold her soul a long time ago and got ended up getting her ass cloned and replaced. All right? So I'm making a divine point to show you. Okay? Because my generation, if they dogging you bitches out here, it's because they grew up after little Kim. And they didn't have a good mom like myself. And Lil' Kim sold her soul for the bigger picture and fucked up generations upon generations. So I got to go before Lil' Kim. You see what I'm saying? To show you where hip-hop come from and what it was about. Fuck all that back and forth shit. We talking facts, nigga. We talking facts. Get mad at your mama for being a hoe. Because a lot of y'all mamas was grow up and was in Lil' Kim and these other hoes. And then they produce more hoes. You get what I'm saying? And it go, it go deeper than that. It go deeper than that. Let's go to Queen Latifah, though. Y'all forgot why she was Queen Latifah? Think about her name. Man, fuck all them nice pics. We know, we know Queen Latifah. All these artists been killed, cloned, and replaced. But Queen Latifah, let's go to the rapper Queen Latifah. People forget. Oh, oh did y'all forget that y'all Queen Latifah came out when she came out? Yeah, 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 motherfucker, yeah, you forgot, you forgot why she was even calling herself queen, she wasn't calling herself bitch, bad bitch Latifah, she never called her, hold on, she never called herself bad bitch Latifah, she never called herself bad, and none of them MCs did it, none of them. She didn't call herself bad bitch Latifah. You see, unlike your Cardi B, that little hoe, she's promoting being a hoe and got rich to promote the dream of being a hoe to her kids. She was queen for a reason. Called herself queen for a reason. She was aware of who she was back then. Come on, man. This was the, this was the energy of our people though. This was a whole movement in hip hop. Let me remind you. Look how she dressed. Look how she was dressing. Look how she was dressing. You and I T Y. U N I T Y, that's a unity. Right. And that's why they had to kill, clone, and replace her. The queen You hear me? They want to mess with the lie. We ain't, look, 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 they ain't start playing with the live, nigga, they ain't start playing with the live till we got the Queen Latifah, nigga. You feel me? Yeah, I know. This shit too real over rich for they bitch ass. I know. I know. I know. I know I got y'all mad up in Washington, D.C. I keep it too real over richie. I know. I ain't gonna stop, though, and y'all ain't gonna stop shit. And if y'all try to kill something, it's gonna be a whole war on the planet that's gonna break out. Cause my people and my followers know what's going on right now. And y'all keep blowing that district attorney office up and let them know what fucking time we on. Straight revolution every time. You see they ain't fuck with the live till we got the Queen Latifah ass, nigga. We on salt and pepper though. Salt and pepper, man. And this when a little seductiveness did come in. They gave you some, but look what the fuck they still was standing for. Look what they got on. Look at them colors. Look at them colors, man. That was the energy back then. That was the energy back then. That was the energy back then, nigga. That was the energy. That was the energy. And that was the energy. And then, you know, they start bringing the little weaves and shit in. They start ushering the little weaves in. But guess what? Look how they were still dressing, though. And when they did give you a song, because motherfuckers out here fucking. We ain't like motherfuckers ain't fucking. So, yeah, they gave you a song. But look how they dressed. Even in today, they still dress with class. Even today. Look at them there. Yesteryear. Then look at them there. Look at them here. Yesteryear. Then look at them there. Okay? Know the difference. Know the difference. Okay? Yeah, these, I'm showing you too many artists, right? 
too many fem C's for you to doubt this, this thesis. See, they could get mad, but they cannot argue the science, man. It's a science behind why they did this to our artists and our people. Period, nigga. Period. There she go. There go Yo-Yo. There go Yo-Yo. Everybody love Yo-Yo, too. And she ain't have to show no ass or titties or nothing. You just love Yo-Yo face. Motherfuckers loved her face. You know what I'm saying? She ain't have to show no titties or ass or nothing. And check this out. Do y'all see the 666 in her name? It looked like Yo-Yo, but them sixes right there for a reason. See, a lot of these artists, they knew what was coming in the industry, man. They got out, man. There. Yeah, they got out, though, man. Yo-Yo and them, they started this thing, man. They started this little thing of ours today that we call hip-hop. FMCs. Man, they wasn't dressing like that, though. They wasn't on that. Look how Yo-Yo was dressed, man. You see her? You see Yo-Yo? Fitted hat on, hat to the back, braid, shorts, ripping the mic. Ripping the mic. Ripping the mic. She's not ripping clothes off. She was ripping the mic. She's not ripping clothes off. Okay? I'll repeat that again. You see her with braids, fitted hat to the back, hip-hop, ripping the mic. She was not ripping her clothes off. She's ripping the mic. You hoes today got to rip y'all clothes off, and then you wonder why a motherfucker call you a hoe. A motherfucker just putting the price tag on the goddamn what it is. You feel me? You feel me? That's all a motherfucker doing if a motherfucker call you a hoe today, and you dress in a certain way. See what I'm saying? You can't dress a certain way and expect to get respect back. If you present yourself like a hoe, you're going to get addressed like a hoe. If you dress with your titties out, your ass out, tattoo, every, all that, all the shit that y'all like to do on Instagram today. Arching your hips out. That's seductive. What did you pop your picture for? You can't take a regular picture without doing nothing provocative. For those of you that didn't hear to know what provocative mean, that means something that's going to lead a person to want to have sex with you or, the, or, or, or to be, to think promiscuous. You see what I'm saying? You're luring niggas to be promiscuous and then you wonder why nigga ain't thinking about number fucking with you today. You get what I'm saying? Make this shit make sense. But before we can make it make sense, let me take you back down memory lane. You feel me? Cardi B could never. Meg the Stallion could never. Nicki Minaj could never. Trina could never. Nigga, real MCs. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? What are you talking about? Low vibrational house Negroes. If you feel like I'm hating on you, because I don't even like to use the word, but if you feel like I'm putting your favorite celebrity down, well, maybe I am. They are all a bunch of sellouts and dick eaters. All right? They sold, they sold for less. This is how Missy was. This is how Missy started. Missy, look, Missy Elliott. Herself, niggas forget. Fucking one of the best talents we have for as a rapper, producer, and dancer, choreographer. Look how she was dressing. It's my window. I can't stand rain. Beep beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Yeah. You hear me? What for ain't he no titties and ass, nigga? None of that had to be shown for Missy to rip the motherfucking mic, nigga. None of it. You hear me? None of it. It's my window. I can't stand the rain. You hear me? Facts. And I, I can't stand the rain, nigga. This is my window. And I'm tired of looking out this motherfucking window and seeing my people walk around lost, whether it's the gods or the goddesses. And then we want to turn around and blame each other as opposed to blaming these rich, powerful crackers who set up the motherfucking system. Because this don't end at Lil' Kim. She's the motherfucker that started it. She's the house Negro that took the bait. But we know who, we know who, who, who she was working for. You feel me? Because now nah, we got to we got to wake up and you don't understand the influence and impact that celebrities have on our kids, man. You feel me? They not listening to their mama or their daddy. They listening to their favorite rapper. And it's always been that way. This ain't just start. We grew up the same motherfucking way. All right. So 
Let's go. Come on, left eye. Come on, left eye. Y'all helping me prove my thesis so good right now. Come on, left eye. Come on, left eye. Come on, left eye. Now, in today's world, left eye would have had to show all type of titties and shit that she didn't have. You see what I'm saying? Because we know left eye ain't had nobody or nothing. She's just cute. Look how she was dressing. She got condoms on the glasses. You feel me? She got a condom on her glass. One eye. And guess why she called herself left eye? Because she was already talking about the pineal gland, motherfucker. People don't even know why she called herself left eye because niggas was so asleep. Left eye was a biology of all sides. That's why she called herself left eye, nigga. And everybody was fucking heavy, was AIDS. So that's why she got the condom. Like, look, if y'all gonna be out there fucking, at least try to protect yourselves. And she still had the one eye symbol, man. Come on. I'm just breaking it down for a friend that doesn't like the jiggy like that. All right? I'm just breaking it down for a friend that doesn't like to get jiggy like that. All right? That's all we're here doing. We're just cordial, colored, concerned citizens. The four C's. And we're just breaking it down the Jazzy Jeff way for a friend that does not like to get jiggy like that. Okay? You know? Because, you know, you got, you got friends that don't like to get jiggy. So you got to break it down for them. You know, the motherfuckers that like to get jiggy, we going to get on the dance floor and break it down regardless. You get what I'm saying? But for those who don't like to get jiggy like that, we got to break it down for them too. You get what I'm saying? Boy, you can't find a picture of left eye doing nothing overly provocative, nigga. Nothing, nigga. We thought Left Eye was gay in the 90s because she was so damn buoyed up with the way she dressed. And not just her, the whole damn group. But we're talking about rappers right now. This isn't about the rest of TLC. We not talking about T-Boz or Chili. They are singers. We're talking about FemCs over here, people. And we're breaking it down for a friend that does not like to get jiggy like that. Okay? That's all we doing. We ain't doing nothing else. So if you ain't trying to grow, get the fuck out. You get what I'm saying? Come on now. I, I ain't even got to type her name in, but because she's the greatest, the greatest rapper to ever do this shit, shout out to Miss Lauren Hill. I always looked up to her and respected her energy. Look at her. Had the locks back then. Was waking y'all up back then. Greatest MFMC of all time and was literally blackballed out the industry because she stood for what stood for, nigga. Come on, man. We know what Lauren did. Come on, man. Why? Why y'all got them next to each other? Don't ever put this nothing ass, low vibrational ass bitch next to no real goddess. She did it the real way. Dude, before Hollywood was right when they were starting to go into that change and making motherfuckers eat kids and all that shit, she got the fuck out and was blackballed. This in the 90s. Not her though. Period. Period. But they're going to put her next to her. Them two different representations, man. You could have. She sucked dick to get there. She did that off talent. She sold her soul to get there. She ain't sell nothing but albums. It's a difference. It's a difference. I don't even know why they got them next to each other. That's actually disrespectful. That's actually real disrespectful, though. I find that. No, I find that disrespectful. You could have put that hoe next to anybody. Put her next to Lil' Kim or some shit. Don't put her next to no motherfucker, Lauren Hill. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Slap shit side y'all. Whoever posted that shit need to get their motherfucking chin slapped off their face. Couldn't get no more disrespect for her. Gonna put her next to the, the legend. You get what I'm saying? The legendary Lauren Hill. Fuck put a the legend in front of her shit. Real Even I ain't know they that. You feel I'm getting ready to report the motherfucking post on their ass. And I don't report shit, nigga. But the real goddesses, nigga, I damn near turned to the to a snitch on y'all ass when I seen that shit. I damn near reported the post, nigga. All right. Mia X. Let's stay focused. Mia X. Everybody know what No Limit did. Everybody remember no, Mia X. No Limit, dad. Come on, man. Look how she was dressing. That's Mia X. That's Mia X. That's Mia X. That's Mia X. Alright. Alright. Mia X. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on now. If we gonna come with it, let's come with it. 
If we gonna come with it, let's come with it. Mia X. No limit days. Look how she dressed. Okay? Look how she dressed like a motherfucking boss. Right. She ain't have to show no titties or ass or none of that old extra shit. You get what I'm saying? Okay? Come on, y'all. Shout out to Shot Town, my town. Shot Town, Chicago. Let's go to another beast with the bars. The brat. The brat. The brat. The brat. She wasn't showing no titties and ass and none of that. And she got a body. She got a body. She could do all that. But she never did, though. She never did, man. Shout out to Chicago, too. You know, I got a shout out to the city where I'm from, my town, Shot Town. You hear? Yeah, though. You know? I'm trying to see if I could find some older, some older brat, you know? I don't know how the brat was coming, man. Let me see. Pull up her album cover or something. Functified. That's when she started switching. How the brat was coming when she first popped out, man. How the brat was coming. You know, this this we know how the brat was coming. That's how the brat was coming. When she first came, that's how the brat came. That's how the brat came, y'all. All talent, y'all. She wasn't showing no titties, no ass, and a or outrap the average guy. That's how the brat was coming. No sexuality was needed, y'all. So what happened in Hollywood? We want to know what happened in Hollywood. That all of our FMCs got to shake their ass and titties nowadays just to get an album sale. We want to know. We want to know, y'all, what happened. What's going on in Hollywood? What's going on in Hollywood? What's going on in Hollywood? We have questions now. Look. Rashad Jamal just went through too many rappers that came out before Lil' Kim. And they ain't look like Lil' Kim. You know what I'm saying? We trying to figure out what fuck going on around this bitch. All right? That's all we trying to do. We just some cordial, colored, concerned citizens. I mean, I'm the crazy guy with locks. All right? This should be on, on YouTube talking shit. Okay? I don't know nothing. I'm just asking questions for a friend. Baby D. Lady of Rage. A lot of y'all ain't know she was an actual rapper. Yes, Baby D was a, from, from, from Friday is an actual rapper. That's Lady of Rage. I rock, rock, fin. Stuff with my Afro puffs. You hear me? Look at Lady Rage, y'all. Come on now. She was beautiful like she was. Look at Lady Rage, y'all, with her Afro puffs, with her natural, with her natural hair. We got to get our goddesses back to these looks, y'all. Afro puffs, pigtails, locks, braids. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. She wasn't beautiful right there. She wasn't beautiful right there like her natural sexy self. She ain't got no facial fillers, no facial reconstruction going on. She ain't trying to alter nothing on her body. None of that old weird shit we see today. Now, we got one more before we get to the little Kim, y'all. We got one more, y'all. We got one more, y'all. Shout out to LaChat. This is straight out of Memphis. LaChat, y'all. LaChat had talent. Shout out to Memphis. LaChat wasn't doing none of that neither. Look, LaChat was so motherfucking hood. Niggas thought she would did like to look, look, look. Look at how our MCs dressed back then. LaChat. You feel me? Shout out to LaChat. Shout out to them MCs that was really FMCs, man. You hear me? This is chat, y'all. Shout out to Memphis, man. Shout out to Memphis, man. You hear me? Shout out to Memphis, man. Come on, man. Look at how our MCs dressed. Y'all.
Look at how they dressed. Now check this out. I want to show y'all somebody else, too. All these MCs, man. 80s, 90s. Okay? And they did. Look, they do them dirty. But look, do y'all remember... Do y'all remember Rod Digger? Do y'all remember Rod Digger? Because Rod Digger was another artist. She was with Busta Rhymes, and she wasn't doing all that stuff neither. It's Rod Digger. Rod Digger. Rod Digger, man. Look at Rod Digger. Come on, man. She got a song called Angela Davis. This is Rod Digger, y'all. That's Angela Davis on the picture. This is what she stood for. You see what I'm saying? Rod Digger, y'all. Come on, man. Rod Digger. Look how they... Now, then came, then came this person. Then came her. Then came, then came this. Then came this, y'all. Then we jumped here. Then we jumped here. And look, when Lil Kim did, it was back then, I remember seeing it. It was the talk of everything because nobody has seen a woman or a guy that's revealed themselves this much. Today's era, this wouldn't be shit. But when she did this, it changed the whole sexuality of hip-hop. And that's what she was known for. Her, 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 her wild outfits. Lil' Kim? Yes. That's what she was start became, becoming known for. Look at her. Naked as fuck on the carpet. Promoting the degradation of her body. All right? Check this out. She the one who ushered in sexuality to hip hop. All right. Lil' Kim did that. That was Lil' Kim work. That was Lil' Kim work. You feel me? Look. This was on the back cover of her album. Remember that picture? That was on the back of her album. Lil and this was considered overly sexual. Nobody was dressed like this in hip hop. Females wasn't doing that yet. All right. And Lil' Kim Accomplice was Foxy Brown. Okay. Lil' Kim Accomplice was Foxy Brown. Okay. Watch this. Foxy Brown, the one that helped start to usher in the movement of women degrading themselves. Okay? See? That's that's where it went. Okay? This is where hip hop went to with Foxy Brown and Lil Kim. However, Foxy Foxy Brown she didn't want to play by the rules. Okay? Foxy didn't want to do that. Okay? It's with that situation Foxy Brown didn't want to do that. So she stopped. And when she stopped, they silenced her. Her career went down. Little Kim was 10 toes in. Her career, her career went up. Now look at who all came behind Lil' Kim. Watch the change in dress. Let's go with Eve. Let's go with Eve. And Eve had talent, but still, Eve When Eve first came out, she was trying to keep it rough rider. Look, that's how Eve wanted to do it. She wasn't trying to do all the extra shit. But guess what? Eventually she ended up, they got to her. Because Eve had talent. And they all had talent. But I'm showing you how the dress code, the, re the requirements of what makes you a dope MC changed.
Okay? It changed. Okay? This Eve first album. That's how Eve was coming. You see? She wasn't degrading herself. You see what I'm saying? She wasn't degrading herself. She wasn't with it though. They had to get out the way. Feel me? Had to move her around. But her eyes, why her career ain't really do nothing. The next person that came and kept Lil' Kim ideology going is Trina. Trina. Okay? Trina kept the whole Lil' Kim ideology going and she took sex to the next level with the female degradation. Before Trina, ain't nobody care about having no fat ass. Trina was the one that got the ass shots and got everybody to want to have a fat ass. Her and Buffy the body. Because Trina first video, she was skinny as hell. And then she just got thick all of a sudden out the blue. Facts. Go look at Trina. Oh, oh you don't know that nigga. Who did that, that, that I did? Who could do the things that I did? Fuck about five, six best friends. You don't know that bitch. She was skinny. By bad as bitch, she was thick as fuck. And by pull over that, woo woo, pull over that, too fat, woo woo. You see what I'm saying? We watching ass. I'm seventh grade, like damn, she got a fat ass. You don't think that corrupted my my sacral chakra? It did. Growing behind Lil Kim and Foxy Brown and Trina's, the Trina's. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it does. It did that. And it also made all the goddesses in our era feel like they got a rise to that. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't had no ass. Trina was the first one to get the ass shots. This is a fact. Go watch her in You Don't Know Nan, nigga, video, how skinny she was. If that was her natural body, it would have been like that then. You grown as hell. You ain't just getting no ass overnight being an adult. See what I'm saying? But they hadn't popularized the ass shots yet. And Trina was beautiful, sexy, made good music. But I'm talking about what was she talking about in her lyrics? I'm the baddest bitch. Like she said, and then nigga, you don't know Nan, bitch. Who could spin the ends that I spin? Who could do the things that I did? Fuck about five or six best friends. That's a hoe. But guess what? You got all these young goddesses that came on my age listening to Trina. And they made them want to fuck five or six best friends. And they did it. And now they your mama today and you wonder why you ain't got no daddy. She told your daddy wasn't shit. But she ain't tell you all the dick she did that why your daddy wasn't around. You see? She ain't do that. She ain't tell you why. She ain't tell you that. She didn't tell you that. Your mama ain't tell you that. No, she didn't. And her mama ain't tell how many dicks she did. Because then they just start with Lil' Kim. They use Lil' Kim as the, the gun. This shit started with the black exploitation period in the 70s. I'll take you back. I'm going to tell you who they started with. Hold on real quick. This who started. This who they started with. Overall, this is who they started, started, started with. Right here. This is who they started, started with. Pam Greer. Black exploitation. Pam Greer. Foxy Brown. Jack, you see what I'm saying? The real Foxy Brown. Feel me? Pam Greer. All right, she was in the black exploitation era. You see? That's the real Foxy Brown. Not the rapper. That's the real Foxy Brown. Pam Grier. Okay? The real Foxy Brown. Alright? I'm just taking y'all back down memory lane. You hear me? That's all we doing. That's all we doing. Okay? Okay? So after Trina, who came next with the seduction? Because it ain't a lot of... It's not a lot of... It's not a lot of... It's not a lot of female rappers. A lot of y'all probably don't remember Kaya. That's Kaya right there. Y'all remember Kaya? That was Kaya. All right? She only had one hit. But when I say that motherfucker hit, it hit. Y'all remember this? My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. Yeah, that's that's the song she had. All right? All right? And then they gave her the hair wrap to try to double down on her. Feel me? I fucked with Kaya, too. I like the music. So, like, I'm not this.
to, I'm not dissing these artists or nothing. I'm making a point for lecture purposes. I'm not, this isn't defamation of character or any of that. You see what I'm saying? I'm literally making a point for lecture purposes. This is Kaya. All right? Lick it now, lick it good. Suck this pussy just like you should. Okay, so the lyrics started to change in the music, y'all. That's the point I'm making. The lyrics started to change. The things they were talking about. After Kaya, Remy Ma was a beast. But Remy Ma still came with sexuality because she was coming behind Lil' Kim. Remy Ma was dressing sexual. And Remy Ma rocked with her. You know what I'm saying? I rock with her music. She talented as well. But she was another one that started to take that sexual rap when she dressed. All right? Remember how I showed you how our FMCs used to dress? So it ain't no sign of the times. It's just a matter of what you got to do to get in. Okay? But Lil' Kim started this. Now, after Remy Ma, yeah, you had all type of other rappers try to come. But the next big rapper was... Dun, 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 dun. This was the next big rapper. The next big female rapper was Nicki Minaj. And we know how she came. We know how Nicki came when she came. Fake ass, the fake titties, looking like a white girl, straightening her hair out with the weaves, fake nails, all the fake shit, right? And we love Nicki, though. We love Nicki, all right? Because Nicki had talent. Nobody can dispute that. But I'm talking about the messages sent through, through, the, through the music and sent through the way she was dressing. All right? And sent through the things she was talking about. All right? That plays a mental impact on all these young goddesses that looked up to her. You know how many goddesses right now walk around trying to look like a white girl with pounds of makeup on their face, fake-ass, bright-ass weaves? That's all Nicki Minaj. That's the Nicki Minaj effect. And they got that from Lil' Kim. She got it from Lil' Kim. You know what I'm saying? Now, we know who came right after Nicki. You know, the next big... Because Nicki is the biggest commercial female rapper ever. You know what I'm saying? She's the biggest commercial female rapper ever. Now, who came after Nicki? Who came right after Nicki? Right after Nicki, that was big. Come on now. The devil herself. I love Cardi. Um, She's a beautiful goddess. I, I love the fact she has talent, but she took her talent and did some whole other shit with it that she didn't even have to do. All right, to the point where she even say she don't let her own kids listen to the goddamn music. So you know what's up. And we know who came after Cardi, all right? We know who came after Cardi, y'all. All right? I'm just showing y'all this chronological order. We know who came after Cardi, y'all. We know. Broski did. You feel me? Broski came after Cardi. Shout out to Broski. Broski came after Cardi, all right? Now, bro, 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 got, bro, got, good, bro got good bars, you know what I'm saying? But bro came, bro came after Cardi, okay? We know who Broski is, all right? So, check this out. Let's get off Broski real quick. We're going to go back to Lil' Kim, all right? Let me show y'all something. Lil' Kim, picture. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And she's been walking around, this thing been walking around posing as Lil' Kim since the 90s, since 2000. All right? And nobody noticed nothing. Everybody thought it was facial re reconstruction. Boy, if I was her, if, if I, I would have shot the fuck out my surgeon. You see what I'm saying? All that money she paid her surgeon to look like that? To look like that. And she ain't mad about it? She ain't mad about it. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to see, y'all. She ain't mad about it. This little look, look y'all. And you know it's a clone. Look at Lil' Kim right there. Then look at that one. They keep coming out with different versions of, of, of Lil' Kim's clone. Pay attention. That's a fucking clone. Look at the face, y'all. What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? Ain't nobody surgery looking like that. Ain't nobody surgery looking like that. And you're not going to tell me that this person right here is the same person right there. Those are two different people. Okay? Those are two different people. You're not going to tell me that this person right here is the same person right there. Are y'all serious right now? Y'all can't tell that that's a clone and she got a million different versions of the goddamn clone? Come on, man. You're not going to tell me that this person right here is the same. Come on, man. That's the real little kill. 
nigga. That's the real Lil' Kim. Now, now what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? I'm not being funny. I'm just asking questions for a friend that don't get jiggy like that. We're just cordial, colored, concerned citizens. I'm just saying, you going to tell me them the same people. We got them next to each other. So that person is that person. Are you serious right now? And even then, she's, they fucked her chin up right there. That was when they was when she first starting to, okay, well, let me go ahead and sell out. And they killed her to prevent her from talking too much. They killed her right after they killed Biggie. Now, look. Come on, y'all. And we fell for it. So you telling me. This person right here full of life. That's a regular person. It's the same person right there. Are you serious? You can't see that. Y'all can't see that. Fuck if it's a man or not. Can you see? This is still a real person with a spirit and soul. That's a soulless vessel right there. That's what happened when you sell out. That's what happened when you sell out. You see what I'm saying? Because basically what happened was this, y'all. They used her as the gun for degradation. She was to be the face of it. And she became that. But she, at the end of the day, you know what happened though? She wasn't cool with that shit, y'all. She knew too much about the industry. She knew too much about what was going on with the pop biggie shit. All right. So what did they do? They couldn't trust her. And she wasn't finna keep running with the agenda all the way. She still got her own mind. They lured her to one of them Hollywood parties, drugged her, killed her, completely cloned her, and replaced her. She little Kim been dead since 99, 98. They didn't release... That clone, listen, if you go look at Lil, Clint, Lil Kim, you're going to see she keep looking different and different and different. If you went through one facial structure, if you went through surgery one time and they fucked your face up like that, who going to keep going back? I'm just, be, I'm just saying, I'm just asking. We're just, hey, four C's, four C's, cordial, colored, concerned citizens. If you go to the surgeon and they fuck your face up like that, who going to keep going back? We can see the first time, but who going to keep going back? Every other, every two years, Lil' Kim look different. And if you go put all them pictures together, it's a different motherfucker every time. Why they do her like that? Because she was the weapon for the degradation of the black woman for the 90s era. In the 70s, they used Pam Grier. See what I'm saying? They started the whole idea of pimping these, pimping our women out. But then our goddess is out. But then as we move, the hip hop was starting to get big. They had to completely kill the real Fem C. Look how MC like Queen Latifah all them dress. Listen to what they talked about in their music. Now listen to what the female artists talk about today. Asian doll and all them. They all following Lil' Kim. And when they and when you listen to what Lil' Kim rapped about, all she rapped about was sucking dick, how many niggas she fucked. And all this stuff is like, when you put that out there, you degraded, you degraded, you helped degrade the whole race. So you sold your people out. No different than a kingpin selling crack to his people in the community. But what I want y'all to see is how dirty they did her. Even though she helped them, they still removed her. Because they can't trust her. That's what, they, that's what they're doing to R. Kelly. I'm doing a whole lecture on R. Kelly. Listen, this whole shit about R. Kelly finna come out and expose everybody else that's involved. If you know what's going on with Pizza Gate, you know goddamn well Robert Sylvester Kelly is not the top dog in that shit. But since they wanted to do him like that, I'm, they he for a little lip further list of top dogs in that shit. Ain't nobody said nothing about Prince Andrew. Ain't nobody said nothing about Einstein or none of these people that's in high positions. But everybody want to throw arrows at R. Kelly. Boy, y'all ain't shit. Not y'all, but I'm talking about them low vibrational motherfuckers. If we going to war, let's war. If we going to save our kids, let's save our kids. If we going to protect our planet, let's protect it. Let's not hide behind a black face when we know don't nobody black own or run shit down here. All right, I want y'all to know that now that when you see these female femc rappers, yes, that's what happens when you sell your soul. That's what the that's what Lil Kim was. That's why they blew her up so big. That's why they removed Foxy Brown. It was supposed to have been Foxy too, but Foxy didn't want to participate, so they moved Foxy Brown out the way. Then they told you that she went deaf in one ear. No, they got her ass out the way. Facts. 
because it was a whole agenda that's now coming down. All right. But I want y'all to let that marinate on y'all soul because that, that impacted. That impacted all these gods and goddesses. It, it affect both. We just can't attack the gods, the rappers, and the drug dealers. What about these goddesses who helped destroy their community? What about all the goddesses in the 60s that joined the women's liberation movement and then y'all allowed these white crackers to come up with Section 8, which allowed them to not have a black father in the household? So y'all supported helping them destroy y'all community. This what, is this what the goddesses have to recognize about the low vibrational bitches. And that's why today we got so many gay guys and so many transgenders because all them niggas grew up in the house without no daddies. Niggas grew up softer than bear meat. Sweeter than bear meat, softer than grandma's putting on, on a Sunday. You feel me? Because no father was in the house. Then you wonder why, why today these little niggas don't want to fight. Because ain't no fathers in the house, nigga. And if you want that to change, a goddess, you got to recognize the history so that shit don't keep going. It got to be fathers in the house. Motherfuckers supposed to be protesting that whole Section 8 shit. Niggas shouldn't even want it. Look, if we can't have the fathers in the house, we don't want Section 8. That's how that should have went. Not no, we will accept Section 8. And we cool with no fathers being in the house. And then you wonder why all these little niggas run around gay today. You wonder why it's all these transgenders today. You wonder why right now, niggas don't want to take a punch. Nigga go grab a gun. He's scared to get punched. Nigga, we grew up getting punched. Nigga, we grew up fighting, nigga. And then if it got to go to the guns, we going, nigga. Nowadays, you look at a little nigga wrong, he running to get a gun because his ass ain't got no daddy in the house to put no heart in him. To rough him up. See what I'm saying? Nigga act like little female. I got punched. I'm scared to get punched. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up my locks. I don't want to. The little, little girl. I don't want to mess up my locks, so I'm going to go get my gun. Get your soft ass out of here, nigga. If you don't square up, nigga, get this shit off your chest, you going to be all right. But you see, when you remove all the masculine energy out the household and you don't do nothing but push the feminine energy out there, you get what you got today. A bunch of little niggas running around with no heart acting like females to the point where they want to be a female. Then niggas talking about Lil Nas X. I bet you damn well, little nigga, before he sold out his daddy, daddy wasn't he? Attack her. I'm just showing you how she was used and what's going on in our community today. You feel me? You wonder why all this shit is going on? Ain't no fathers in the house, nigga. Did you forget that in the 60s they took all the fathers out the house? Did y'all forget that? That shit ain't starting in the 90s. That shit started in the 60s, nigga. They started attacking the black household. Now today, I always saw this gun violence. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, your grandmama shouldn't have joined the women's liberation movement in the 60s, which completely tore down the civil rights movement. Because like I told y'all, we ain't got nothing to do with the white women. The black goddess struggle always the same struggle she had with that black, with her, with her husband. When we were slaves, she was slaves, nigga. So that whole women's independence shit, women don't get no rights, nigga. First off, y'all not women, y'all goddesses. Women are the white, white feminine energies. Those are the women, okay? Them have, they ain't never had no rights. They been free. Did y'all forget? They been free. And while they promoting Beyonce and all this, you must not know about me. I can have another you in a minute. All this independent shit. You'll never hear a white woman saying she independent. You'll never hear a white woman say she don't need no man. You'll never hear it, nigga. And we can't do it alone, goddesses. Y'all got to step up because y'all was first. Y'all the X chromosome. We need more y'all to step up to attack this bullshit. Just like right now, you got goofy goddesses going online making videos. And if you a real goddess and you see a goddess making a video just the great one of the gods, you're supposed to attack that hoe. Like you ain't one of us, you one of them hoe. You ain't one of us, you one of them. We not attacking our gods or our goddesses. We know these white people set this shit up. The elite, not the poor whites, not the middle class, the elite. You feel me? It's a fact. Independence was only promoted to us, nigga. Planned Parenthood was put in our communities, nigga. Abortion clinics was put in our corners, nigga. Planned Parenthood on every corner in the hood, nigga. Along with a liquor store in the church, nigga. Now you tell me this shit ain't by design. I can't mention Young and May because I love Young and May music, but what? She's gay. So she represents the gay Baphomet agenda. Facts, nigga. That's not taking away from her talent because I fucks with Young and May. Shout out to Young and May. I bump our music, but we talking facts right now and the plan to destroy our people and how we got here. Nigga, this is real.
all that independent shit. You won't never hear no white woman singing that shit, but a black woman will. And then you wonder why you struggling. You wonder why your kids grew up all fucked up. Because you thought you could do it alone. You ain't get here alone. It took the semen from a god and it took the womb of a goddess. So that means it always took two. And in this multiverse, everything in the entire cosmos is interdependent upon something else to exist. We come from unity. X and Y chromosomes started it all. Feminine and masculine energy started it all. We always had unity, nigga. They preach that shit to our communities, not theirs, though. You'll never hear that white woman say, I don't need no man, niggas ain't shit. But a black woman, Latino woman say that shit all day. You'll never hear a white man say bitches ain't shit, but you'll hear the God say bitch ain't shit all day. Y'all don't see the plan? You don't see the design? Then they paid all your singers all this money to further promote independence. Because remember what the women's liberation movement was all about destroying us. They started paying women more money and then they, they did a better job. So now, now I make more money than you. Nigga, she still ain't respecting you. You could have a job working at McDonald's. She got a job making more money than you. She coming in the house still talking shit to you. Because our pay grade is higher. Then this white man actually you respecting him more than your own fucking man. That white man ain't never did shit for you, black goddess. But rape you, did you forget? He raped you. He fucked you, he fucked your husband, and then he fucked your son and your daughter. He destroyed your God. He the reason your guys can't protect y'all no more. But you still want to praise this white racist ass cracker motherfucker to this day. Fuck out of here. Y'all be so quick to get in a relationship with a white man, it's ridiculous. But your grandma, if she seen what she was doing, she would slap the fuck out of y'all ass. She died for you to roll over and lay with this nigga freely today? Liquor store, church, Planned Parenthood in every community in the hood all over the planet, nigga. You think that's by accident, nigga? They don't want us having more babies, nigga. We used to have 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 kids at a time. They start fucking with our food, start poisoning our water, putting arsenic in our shit, promoting abortions to us, nigga. We don't need to be having no abortions, nigga. That's a gift from the most high, from the Supreme Committee. Fuck you having an abortion for. So you're going to kill what we told you to send in here, nigga? We brought you here to procreate. That's the one thing you're supposed to do. If you don't do shit else, it's procreate. Unless it was taken from you. Then you better go adopt a child. Something that's still giving back. You don't do nothing else when you come. You better give life to something else. That's what the fuck we put you down here to do. You ain't got a dick and a pussy just to be fucking. We the only ones that be fucking to be fucking. Nigga, animals mate. We used to have mate seasons too. That's why when you bust that nut, you used to have a hundred kids. Because you semen then reach spermatogenesis so it's so pure because we having sex all day every day our sacral chakra hadn't been diluted hadn't been corrupted with pornography and all these images to make you think sex 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 understand deeply reflections what they did to us wow nowadays you barely had two kids three kids then it would send the guys to jail they want to put soy y'all in the meat. Fuck up your procreate, your production organs even more. Got them sleeping on steel beds. When you are electrical being, you're supposed to sleep on those steel. And they know it. So in jail, they make you sleep on steel so it can fuck your organs up. Yeah, it get deep. It get deep. And I don't give a fuck about no fake case y'all trying to put on me. Because on my soul, like I said, I ain't going in no cell, nigga. Ancestors put me here to leave my people to wake them up to these truths I'm doing right now. That's why y'all want me in the cell. And long as my followers know when we stand ten toes, nigga, the whole planet gonna stand. You better know that. Because we was already in endgame. Nigga, I'll be damned, nigga. You can send a U.S. Marshal to my shit again if you want to. Because I'm here now, nigga. And I noticed they ain't been here since we been back. Bring y'all bitch ass through this bitch again. Whole war broke out on the planet behind a bitch line that ain't doing shit with her life. Come on, man. Because why? Because she's a bitch. She never had no mom, no dad. It ain't her fault, but it is what it is. We ain't being lied to no more. Them days over when we waking up. We know what's going on. We woke now. We ain't blind. We remember who we is now. We not blind. We don't fear no laws. No laws. We'll try to abide within them. 
just to show you that y'all are who we say y'all are, nigga. But at the end of the day, it ain't nothing but war that's going to come, nigga, with this revolutionary, period. They try to take everything from us. Feel me? Ancestors with us, though. I done had a warrant since May 25th that I ain't found out about to September 7th. You ain't going to tell me the ancestors ain't behind all, all of this, man. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. Nigga. And I'm going to get on here every day and wake my people up. Ain't no pressure going to change that. And if I feel like this pressure going to change that, that's what my wife for. That's what my wife for. Feel me? If I feel a little weak, it's my backbone. Feel me? It's called unity. We won, y'all. It's our time, y'all. It's our planet, nigga. They took everything from us, man. They won't even let you have babies no more like we used to have. Naturally, nigga, you had so many kids. Why you think everybody great, my great grandmama had 19 kids? Damn near, nigga. You go two, three generations, niggas had 10 plus kids easy. Them organs don't work the same no more. After eat that meat, generation to generation. Yes, our ancestors told y'all when you come here, be fruitful and multiply. They attacked that multiplying by feeding you certain shit. But come on, y'all. I got an interview today with, uh, I got an interview today, uh, you know, y'all tap in, you know. Shout out to my boy. Bandana Rose, you hear? I got an interview today, so I got to get off here, get ready for that interview. But the interview going to be held on either YouTube or Instagram, one of them. But y'all let this marinate on y'all soul, man. Free Larry Hoover, free Zaza, man. Now we rise. We in class all day. I'll see y'all on YouTube next Sunday. As far as we on the class on my website all week. All right, to everybody in the university, I appreciate y'all. To everybody that's called down to the DA office, I'll pin the number again here. Keep calling. My legal team, now the DA want to meet with my legal team to get the case going out of the pre and all that shit. So they got a meeting October 13th. If you in Atlanta, nigga, we going to the courthouse October 13th. Nigga, we out there full force. Nigga, we ain't running from, we ain't going up there, nigga. You hear me? Peace to the gods and goddesses, man. We ain't let nothing stop nothing. We know what time it is. And at the end of the day, this can only lead to what it's already meant to lead to. It's end game, y'all. Look at what's going on around the planet. Fuck my situation. Just look around. Look at the weather. Look at what the government's doing. Look at what they just did in California, nigga. They just said you can't even send your kids to school without the jab. What? Come on, y'all. Now we stand. See? We ain't gonna have this internet too much longer. And I've been warning y'all about this since last year. They 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 said everybody, not just us, on here. But I'll see y'all in a second for this interview. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet. Kai, y'all join the website. It's going down all week. Now we rise. One.